In this video, we're going to look at how to solve linear equation which has unknowns on both sides. Let's look at uh, a first example. We have 6x minus 4 equals 2x plus 16. When you look at this equation, you can see that we have variable on both sides. Uh, when we solve in uh, this type of equation, a uh, first step is to eliminate the variable from one side. And we eliminate in uh, one which has smaller coefficient. Because we have 6x and then 2x, we eliminate 2x because it has smaller coefficient. So let's subtract the 2x. But because we subtract the 2x on the right side of this equation, we need to do exactly the same on the left side to keep the balance. So we take the 2x away uh, on the left side as well. So 6x minus 2x, that gives us 4x. Then we bring negative 4 down and that's going to be equal to positive 16. Okay. Next step is to undo negative 4. So that means I need to add 4 and I need to do exactly the same on the right hand side. Um, and we will be left with 4x equals 20. Okay, now let's divide both sides of the equation with positive 4 and x will be uh, positive 5. So we just uh, got our final answer. Now let's have a look at second example. Here we have 9 minus 2x equals 4x minus 1. So we can see that we have variables on both sides. As we said in the previous example, we need to eliminate the variable uh, on one side and we are interested with the uh, one uh, with the smaller coefficient. As we have negative 2x and positive 4x, uh, we will eliminate uh, negative 2x. So we need to add uh, 2x uh, on the left side of this equation in order to eliminate negative 2x. So I have to do exactly the same uh, on right hand side. So um, we will be left with 9 equals uh, a 6x minus 1. Now let's undo negative 1. So we need to add 1 on both sides of the equation. Uh, and um, this gives us 10 equals to uh, 6x. Next step would be to divide both sides of this equation with positive 6 and x is going to be equal um, to 10 over 6. Now let's uh, simplify this fraction. So uh, you can see that uh, they have, uh, uh, so we can uh, divide both top and the bottom uh, of this fraction by 2, which gives us 5 over uh, 3. Okay, so we just got uh, the final answer. Uh, so x equals to 5 over 3. Mm, and we can always leave uh, the final answer um, mm, as fraction. Okay, now let's have a look at the next, uh, next example. Here we have 3 uh, multiplied by x plus 2 equals to x plus 14. Now we can see down the left side we have fraction. So the first step would be uh, to expand the bracket. So that means we need to multiply uh, each term inside the bracket with the term outside of bracket. So if we multiply 3 times x, that gives us 3x. Then we multiply 3 by positive 2 and that would be positive 6, which equals to x plus 14. Now we need to eliminate uh, x uh, 
uh, on one side. In this case, we eliminate uh, x uh, because it has a smaller coefficient, so we need to subtract the x. We do the exactly the same on the left-hand side. So 3x minus x gives us 2x. So we bring the positive 6 down, and then that's uh, going to be equal to positive 14. Now let's undo positive 6. So we need to subtract the 6 on both sides of the equation, and then we will be left with 2x equals uh, 8. Now let's divide both sides with positive 2, and x would be positive uh, 4. Okay, now let's have a look at the final example. You can see the, uh, here uh, we have brackets uh, on both sides of the equation, so we need to expand the bracket. So first let's multiply 9 with x, so that gives us 9x. 9 times negative 2 is negative 18 equals to 11 times x is 11x and 11 times positive 5 is positive 55. Now let's eliminate uh, a variable on one side uh, uh, which in this equation would be 9x so we need to subtract the 9x on both sides of the equation so we will have a negative 18 equals to 2x plus 55. Next step is to undo positive 55. So we need to subtract the 55 both sides and we will have negative 73 equals to 2x. And then we divide both sides of this equation in positive 2 and x will be um, minus 73 over 2. We can always leave our answer um, as a fraction.